Now, this is a poem I wrote very early on in my sort of time of doing performance poetry. Basically, when I first started doing performance poetry, I realised it was quite cool. There was something quite rock and roll about it. And so being the sort of person I am, I thought, how can I damage this? <laughs> <laughs> the answer was obviously to write a homoerotic love poem about James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> It's called Warp Factor 12 <laughs> to my heart. Which is actually a really funny joke, because warp engines can't go faster than warp 10. <laughs> <laughs> my hailing frequencies are open. My scanners have got a lock. I've set a course for you, Jim. You're where I want to dock. <laughs> I want to wrestle with you on a planet that is really just a quarry. I want to tear your golden shirt, Jim, off your bronze, sweaty <laughs> James T. Kirk, I think you're a hottie. And if you're not off this world, then Scotty. Beam me up, because in the TV series no one actually said beam me up, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> For you, I would paint myself green and add a third prosthetic nipple. Said you wouldn't tell. But Jim, just the sight of you could make a Klingon's forehead rip. <laughs> I love you so much I would follow you to the planet of evil dread, even if it was before the first ad break and my only shirt was red. <laughs> <laughs> it's love, Jim, but not as we know it. <laughs> this is the final frontier, Jim, so let's go on a five-year mission. I want you to take me boldly <laughs> to places where no man has gone before. <laughs> Like Uranus. <laughs> My hailing frequencies are open. My scanners have got a lock. I've set a course for you, Jim. But you're still not as cool as Spock. <laughs> As you know, tonight we're all competing for this, <laughs> and I'm taking that very seriously. I, I wanted to ask, do you guys, when you come to a show like this, do you ever worry about all these acts coming up on stage and imagining you all naked? Does that ever make you nervous? No. No? no. no. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Why not? Well. <laughs> but, yeah, sitting here, you know, especially you guys with the ballot papers, you, you have very important decisions to make tonight. I, I'm sorry, can I get your name? Jason. Jason. Jason, you have an awesome responsibility tonight to decide who is going to get this ball of petunias. <laughs> That's just worth thinking about. This is my final poem I'm going to do tonight. It's called An Award Winning Poem. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, it hasn't won any awards, that's just the title. <laughs> Darling, for you, my love is like a gift from above coming down like a dying dove <laughs> that fits me like a glove. <laughs> it burns me whether you are far or you are near. It lifts me up so high that I can see Jason's house from here. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, my love for you is my only faith, and I want to keep you from banshees and wraiths. <laughs> <laughs> for I will always protect you because you should keep your loved ones safe. <laughs> Loving you is like a dream 
from which I never want to be woken. I'll keep it as safe as Jason's house, <laughs> apart from that rear window, which could be easily broken. <laughs> Darling, you are as pretty as a summer's day. Just like Jason's loved ones, who I hope stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> For your beauty is radiant, it has often been said, and in no way does it resemble a horse's head, rotting and putrid and left in someone's bed. <laughs> For when you are in love as real and deep as this, when there are people who you care about and want to hug and kiss, you think about what's important, you get your priorities straight. For in, this, for in a world like this one, I'm sure you would hate to, for instance, feel the terror and frustration of knowing your love is in a windowless van at an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> it is the poet's duty to give our hearts a voice. We can't choose who we love, but we do have a choice. <laughs> Thank you. I can't even stay. Actually, I've got to hold this up right now. Okay, that's... Last is missed. <laughs>